What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today, today I continue on in this series called Second Thoughts um, where I review fountain pens that I have reviewed many many moons ago uh, and to tell you what my thoughts are today. Have they changed? Have they stayed the same? Do I even own the pen anymore? Today I'm going to talk to you about the Lamy 2000. Uh, it's a very classic pen, one that if you've been in the fountain game for even a short while, you probably have heard of, um, and that is this guy right here. So clearly I still have him in my collection, which means something. <laughs> it means that yes, I do still love this pen. Uh, it's the Bauhaus design. Um, you know, again, everybody knows about this pen. So um, I'll throw a link in the iCard to my original uh, review where I get into the nitty gritty, uh, but real quick, Bauhaus design, uh, made of macrolon, very warm to the touch, uh, similar almost to ebonite uh, as far as like the feel goes. Um, very dope clip, very classy design. I mean, it's in a freaking museum for crying out loud. Um, snap cap, piston fill, um, no real uh, grip section or anything like that. So your hands can go wherever you want to. Nice ink window, um, pistons very smooth, um, 14 karat gold nib. Uh, it is hooded, so it's uh, it's a small nib. You don't really see much. Um, you can push to post. It posts very securely. Um, it sits very well in my hand, even not posted, uh, and it just feels great. It's a pretty light pen, but has enough weight to it to be comfortable for both very short writing sessions and very long writing sessions. Um, some people have said that this nib dries out, but I haven't experienced that ever. Uh, and I have owned two Lamy's, uh, two thousands, one with a fine nib, one with a medium nib, which fun fact, I've also done a comparison of, um, the fine nib and the medium. Um, spoiler, I prefer the medium. Um, so it's a beautiful pen. I like the fact that it's like, even though it's a piston fill, um, the knob is completely disappear um you can't you can't see it uh, it feels really really good in my hand and it's relatively inexpensive for the quality of the pen so um i really appreciate that um i don't remember exactly what the price is off my top of my head um i'll put it here this is the american uh price point from a um, online retailer so it is retail price. You can find them less uh, in some other places, especially the, the standard Macrolon. Um, there's a stainless steel version of this pen that is more expensive um, and I would imagine much heavier. I've never actually touched it, uh, so I don't know what that would be like, but I'm sure the writing experience would be the same. Um, I would kill somebody to get my hands on the blue version that's coming out uh, because nobody's gonna be able to find this that thing anywhere so <laughs> but the Lamy 2000 is probably uh, it's one of my top top pens for sure um, this will always be in my collection never will I part with it um, unless maybe I did get that blue one but even then I think I would still hang on to the the black original um, I love it and um, there's really nothing wrong with it there's nothing that I don't like about it uh, so pfft, yeah Second thoughts is still a dope pen. Um, let me flip the camera around real quick and show you how this bad boy writes. All right guys, so once again, let me 2000, medium nib. Uh, the ink for today is uh, Mont Blanc. Whoa, focus camera. Uh, James Purdy and Sons, uh, I think it's called Scotch something. Um, one of my favorite inks, one of my favorite pens. Uh, it is super wet, which I love. Um, uh, that wasn't the pen's fault, by the way. I over-rotated the nib. Um, there is a bit of a sweet spot with this nib as far as like, you know, if, you're, if you rotate it too far, it won't write. But it is still relatively like... You've got to rotate it pretty, pretty far. Um, the fine one, you had a little bit finer of a sweet spot, but for the most part, this one is perfect. Um, no real line variation. It'll squeeze out a little bit, but you're not really going to get much um, 
reverse, not really. Uh, it's gonna fade away. Um, with a more saturated ink, you will see it a little bit better. Um, but this nib is so, so smooth. It is beautiful. Um, and never once in the many years that I've had this pen have I had a problem with ink starvation, skipping, hard starts, any of that. And I've had some pretty gnarly inks in here um, as far as like some ones that tend to like clog up the feed and get crusty and gross and bleh. Um, and I still really don't ever have any issues with this pen. Um, it is simply glorious. Um, there's a reason why it's been around for so long. There's a reason why uh, it'll probably always be around uh, with very, 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 very minimal changes to it. Um, I think this has a purpose being in everyone's pen collection. So guys, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more every Monday and Tuesday uh, and the occasional Q&A on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Did I say Monday and Tuesday? I meant Monday and Friday. Tuesdys and Thursdays are Q&As. <laughs> I need some more coffee. Guys, I love your faces and I'll see you tomorrow.